All right, everybody, it's Chris DeClerc with Delta Plastics and Pipe Planner. This particular video on the new version of Pipe Planner will show you how to navigate through a levee field. I've logged in. I've selected the farm. This time I'm going to name it again. Select my soil type. Click Levee. Pipe Planner then asks me, you're going to draw your levees in? You're going to upload them? This time we're just going to draw them manually. If you happen to be on your field or out in the field and you're drawing uh, it using your iPad or whatever you're using, you can do this right quick on the fly, and I'm going to show you how to do it. First, we've got to draw the field boundary, though. So this is the field we're going to work on very quickly here. We're going to click Add a Water Source. Let's go find that water source and say that it exists right here. Again, you've got to name the water source, whatever you want to name it. It's fine to name it the field. After the field, click Save All. Now, when you click Finish, it goes into a little bit different mode where it asks you these particular things. You want to add some levees, remove levees, edit levees. You can add a water source now, but here we want to add levees manually. So just click this little button. You'll see a little yellow dot appear right here at the top. Okay, this is it appearing on its own. I'm not clicking until now. I then click, drag it till I get outside of the field. You'll see the little yellow dot appear again and click. And just do that all the way down this field until you have drawn in the fields manually or drawn in the levees manually where you want them to exist. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly here. Come all the way down. Again, the little yellow dot without me clicking is just hovering above the place where I want it as I drag my mouse back and forth. When I click, it stays and starts that levee at that point. And then when I click again, it stops the levee at that end. You'll see the green or the yellow dot is still there going around. If I click save, I will automatically populate those levees. And then I'm going to go and click add pipe. When I go to add pipe, if this is a multiple inlet field where I'm going down the side, I simply click, click here, let it come out into the field there, drag the pipe all the way down the end, left click twice, click the end of the pipe. You want to leave it open? You want to tie it off? We let you select, click save. Click Save again right there. If you click inside of just hover over these patties, you can see which one of the, how big they are in the different acreage. What we're going to try to do is tell you exactly what gates to put, punch in that pipe along the edge of this field. You get there by simply clicking the whole design, and you'll see here how many gates you need, how open or closed they need to be per each individual patty, and now you have your design for this levee field. Thanks. Stay tuned for more videos.